Here are some of the most expensive things the President of the United States owns. Mercedes-Benz CLR McLaren $500,000 We don't want to bother you with a list of skyscrapers and golf courses which all look the same, but we think you would like to see a few luxury cars Trump owns for which he owns four of them. The Mercedes-Benz CLR McLaren, which was produced and marketed in 2003 and was the top class car of its time, was delivered to him outside his spacious penthouse. It reigned as the most expensive car that has a marketing price tag value of 500 k in 2003, but now it's rated less than what you think of it now. It was but for 400 k and the interior luxury was refurnished for 100 k extra. Sikorsky S76 $7 million Adults love toys just as much as kids do, which is why we dedicated a post to Donald Trump's helicopter alone. Although, we will get to the rest of his impressive aircraft collection a little later on. Lifestyle of the rich and famous, right? The chopper remained to be the center of attention of the media for a long time. Even though Trump owns two other choppers, this one ruled all due to its quality and market prestige. The best a man can get. Trump even hired a fancy pants designer to remodel the entire helicopter in 24 karat gold, which, as you will see, is not a surprise. Trump loves gold. The helicopter also has Trump in a big bold letters on the side. It was estimated he spent an extra $750,000 at least to remodel it. 25 Trump golf courses, $650 million. Trump has a variety of golf courses, mostly in the US. If you are in the US, you would see Trump golfs in some states you live in or very close to you in the city. Trump makes at least $12 million annually from any of his courses. As he stated in one of his interviews before the campaign in 2016, his golf courses will have a market of value of mainly worth $1.2 billion. It would be great to be in one of the Trump's golf courses. Trump wanted his courses to be one of a kind and the best in their field. He wanted to take the honors of hosting the World Gold PGS tournaments and spend money that would allow the renovations deemed necessary for the courts to be effective in order to host games. It also makes up the top 10 most expensive things Donald Trump owns in 2019. Furnitures, coffee, and menswear companies, $14 million. The real estate isn't the only thing Trump profits from. His side deals under the name of Trump Organization aid to the billions he's making that helps him sustain his expensive taste. They are rather quirky business ventures and includes a mention simply because they illustrate how far Trump's brand extends, even if they aren't among Trump's most profitable business ventures. These licensing deals, wherein Trump gives his permission for companies to slap Trump all over them and call it a day, signal luxury and quality and have put roughly $14 million in his pocket. He's got Trump Home, which includes furniture that is handcrafted to perfection. Oh, we will resist the small hand jokes that this is so readily brings to mind. Coffee called Select by Trump, Trump Natural Spring Water, and Trump Fragrant, to name but a few. Then there's the Donald J. Trump Collection, a line of menswear. Their brand is one of the most prestigious ones out there and might cost you a limb or two, but if you can afford it, go check it out this Christmas season. The Expensive Princess Yacht In 1989, Boat International ran a story of Trump's 86-meter yacht originally called Nabila, which he purchased from Saudi Arabian businessman Agnan Kasaji. Of course, the president didn't keep the original name and renamed it to the Trump Princess. He believed that the precious behemoth of the yachts was a great quality. But did he truly appreciate it? I'm not into them, Trump said in his general interest in boats. I've been on my friend's boats before and couldn't get off fast enough. Kind of bizarre statement to make consider he spent almost $30 million on what he's called the ultimate toy. As for the specs that made the Trump business so impressive, the interior, which reportedly cost more than the exterior itself. The yacht was so beautiful and pleasing to the eye that James Bond movie Never Say it Never Again featured it. Having decided to sell it in 1991, perhaps Trump finally got bored with his incredible toy? This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the next two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.